If you're looking for an easy way to finish your embroidery piece without framing it or leaving it in the hoop, mounting it on card and backing that on felt is a quick and easy option. Today, I'm gonna to show you how to do it. Welcome to EBITDA Studio. My name is Elizabeth and I help you make beautiful things with quilting, pojagi, and embroidery. So there are a lot of ways to finish your embroidery piece once you've done it. But one of the easiest ways is to mount it on card and back it with felt. And that's what I've done on this little wreath Christmas ornament. And if you're interested in this ornament pattern, you can check out the link below to get the link for all the ornaments. But whatever embroidery you have, you could finish it this way. This one is a small size, it's to be used as a Christmas ornament, but you can do this with any size of embroidery you have. So you could display it um, on a stand, you could hang it on the wall, however you wanna display it. So to finish your embroidery this way, you are gonna need only a few things. One thing is you're gonna need your embroidery. So I'm just using this blank piece of fabric to represent the embroidery, but you would have your piece stitched on there. And when you're doing your stitching, be sure to leave a lot of fabric around the edge. Don't stitch right up to the edge of the fabric. You'll need at least a half an inch and preferably one inch beyond the edge of the stitching. Then you are going to need a circular piece of cardboard, the size that you want it to be. This is just card cut out from a cereal box. So that a cereal box, cracker box is perfect for that. Um, just cut it to the size you want. If you're looking for a circle template, you probably have lots around your house. Look for cans, cups, bowls, plates, all those things to find the size that you want and then trace it. If it's very lightweight, cardboard, you might want two pieces to put together just to be a little bit sturdier. And of course, your piece doesn't have to be circular. Um, this technique is a little easier if you're doing it without corners. So circles, ovals, shapes like that are easier than squares and rectangles, but you could do that as well. And then you're going to need a little piece of quilt batting just slightly larger than your shape. And I mean like uh, an eighth inch larger around. And then you'll need a piece of felt the same size. So then besides these, you are just gonna need fabric scissors, glue, and optional but helpful is little clips. So we could use wonder clips if you happen to have them, or you could use clothespins, paper clips, anything to help hold the pieces together while the glue dries. So let's get started. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is trim your embroidery down to be the size of the card that you're mounting it on. And you don't want it to be the exact size, you want it to be larger, because you're gonna be folding the edges over. So if you had embroidery on here, you would center this, to make sure that your embroidery was positioned the way you want it to be positioned. And then with your scissors, you would just trim excess fabric and you want to leave um, ideally half an inch, but if you have less than half an inch, you could get away with a little bit less, but you want at least a quarter of an inch. So half inch is a good, and you don't need to spend a lot of time measuring, you can just eyeball this, that's close enough. Okay, so then once, uh, once your embroidery is finished, then you're gonna put your piece of batting on the back of your embroidery. So the right side of your embroidery is facing down to the table. Batting on the back and then card on the back of that. Then we're just gonna use glue and we're gonna fold the edges over and glue them down. 
So I like to glue a couple of spots first. Um, and I'm gonna add a couple of clips just to hold that in place while the glue is still wet. And I'll come in and do this side. And then I'll go in and glue in the sections between those. And once it's been glued all the way around, then we'll leave it just to dry and it will dry pretty quickly. About 15 or 20 minutes will be enough time. So I've left this for a few minutes. It's not totally dry, but it's dry enough for me to move on to the next step. So carefully remove the clips. Uh, you might see some clip marks on the front of your fabric, but that will erase with time. And we can see how nice that looks mounted on the card. Then on the back, if you want to add a hanger, you would be sure to position the hanger to the top of your embroidery. And it could be a long hanger or just a short little loop, depending on where you're gonna hang it. And I like to tape this into the inside just to give it a little bit more security. And then we're just going to um, add glue around here. Try to avoid big clumps of glue, but spread it around and then center the felt onto the back of the piece. And check the edges. If there are um, holes where it seems to be separating, then you can come back in and put extra glue in that side. There it is. Your embroidery is mounted on card and backed with felt. So now you can display it however you'd like to. For other options of finishing your embroidery after it's mounted on card, check the link below to go to the full tutorial with a list of options. And for other embroidery tutorials and inspiration, be sure to check out ebitastudio.com.